Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel, where we are playing Oxenfree, which is a... Actually, you know what? I'm not quite sure what it is. I just saw that it was on Steam, and it piques my interest. So let's just go with... So subtitles on, resolution's all good, and let's hop straight into it, shall we? Night School Studio. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Okay. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. <laughs> and you guys just met tonight? Yeah, oh, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He'll be like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, step technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I space. forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. Okay. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. <laughs> okay. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their yeah, way. let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. <laughs> Just bring it out, will you? Pressing, sh oh. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> red-headed bedwetters. Oh, man. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. 
I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. So Ren and Alex have been friends. Ren and Alex have been yeah, the two on the left have been friends since high since childhood. And Jonas is Ren's stepbrother? New stepbrother, I guess. And they've gone to the beach for a party. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Uh, Ren's right, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just- Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up. No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. Okay. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But when the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so yeah, bit. no problem. Anytime. Who's Mike? It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28th, anyway. It was sunk by okay. This is very... odd. Style is very odd. Like the kind of... Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's like- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that- Oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. There's our map. 
That's quite a... Uh... It used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. Ooh. You'll hear voices or just sounds. <sighs> no way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh God, whatever. So back up a second, who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. There's a lot of exposition already. But it's, it's good character development at the moment. Okay. Oops. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a straight Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. <laughs> Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Yep. Okay. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. So I'm guessing the clouds <laughs> the means and some like will it's be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son, so... Domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> that's it, that's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, yeah. what about me? What about you? Wow. What a bitch. What a bitcher Rooney Dooney. So this is weird at the moment. This is very weird, but I feel it's building up to something. So we'll just stick with it. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. 
Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. <laughs> you get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. <laughs> it's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it... Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, so no. just face it. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was very... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well... I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. <laughs> okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, <laughs> and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a base. God, this is so yeah. teenage stuff. I knew those base lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, it it just worked out that way. I swear. <laughs> yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey, now yeah, you can't bitch. control the sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. <laughs> so, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. Um, what? no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and easy now. <laughs> Is it that hard to come up with a question to ask me? Oh my god, if you can't even speak, your turn gets skipped. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem Jeez. written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. My ampersand. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. It's It's none of my business. It is your business, your family now, so let's hear it out. Why'd your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah, Wait, let's, a let's not stop like this. We should. Game's like... over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could. And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we. What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, 
You be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked about that. Whenever you're ready. Dot. Oh, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but... He has the concentration of a goldfish. Oh, that's right. Just leave that right in front of him. The demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot. And cute. And... I don't know. I, she's cool, that's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. All right, but I mean, there are other fish out there. Big ones. Whales. <laughs> um, sure. Now, who's Perfect. ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. <laughs> Brownie Town. No, never. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced <laughs> with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay, let's see if I can hear some weirdness. How will we know when it's... Oh, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but... Okay. You know, if you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should huh. see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Uh, it sounds... so... Yeah, it sounds... 
Uh... It sounds... like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was Hello. that? Hello. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or hmm. it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think shh, I think I mismeasured the map. <laughs> cool, so we've got uh we've got Ren tripping balls. <laughs> uh, he's high as a kite. And we've found this supernatural presence in a cave, maybe, possibly. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of heavy dialogue, but it's good, very well acted. So, I apologize if I'm not talking very much, but I'm just engrossed in the story right now. Um. Ten PM. Uh, looks like Jonas just ran off without me. Jonas! Jonas! Ah, oh, I can find that part. The music's pretty as well. It's very beautiful and haunting at the same time. I don't think this is a horror. I think it's just supposed to be more supernaturally. Is in that pool. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Oh, yeah, there is an ashtray out there. Hmm. Okay, that's not creepy or anything. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh it's beautiful. Oh, see? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's- Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no... Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Can we just go, please? I really don't like it here. Yeah, okay, we can go. Lead the way. I'm just... This place just makes me really super nervous. That's all, so... You don't have to explain. I totally get it. Let's just get back to the happy fun beach time festivities, okay? It's fine. Like, Whoa. what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't... What? Wow, how is that? Yeah, what is that floating triangle Do you thing? see the floating, um, triangle light thing? 
Sort of a man, but not the dog. Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow, or like a bluff. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Well, if I did, apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Try your radio. Maybe that's like... I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Alex, just... Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside. So let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Hmm. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Oh wait! Oh my God! Nope! Nope! Is this? Nope! Are nope! You, is this you? Get out of the way! Get Are out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out! Why did you stop? It's freaking scary. That's why. G yeah, don't stand it's, underneath it. True, but I'm sure the first caveman to make Don't stand underneath it. It's going to kill you. Move! Out of the way! least possible I, I I don't know what you mean so I can't Bob to Bob time my is tricking him That's a submarine under the water. Hmm. Interesting. And weird. And what the fuck? What the fuck, indeed. Alex. You know what? I think that's a good place to leave it there add some mystery to it. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to see the continuation of Oxenfree, didn't mean to write that time, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, this is Game Jet, signing out.